That's when that line run, the county line run, and I was telling you about the old lady that built a fire up, you see, in the graveyard. Yes. Nobody but Indians was buried there. Her husband was buried there, and she come through the trail of tears. Mm. And how my cow got out, and then lived Woody Gloves up to Woody's Corner. We were called Woody's Corner. Yes. Well, then there's an old lady on the river over there that owned that land on the river, but she's a businessman, a woman, well-educated, and tells her. I forget that old lady's name. <laughs> I was down there one day, and that's the time I ate. They had a, the husband was out in the field, and I went out where he's at. That's where I stood up and ate my dinner. Yes. Stood up to the table and ate my dinner. <laughs> they had him there, and he was getting these cucklebirds. They had them cucklebirds in. You don't see the cucklebirds anymore. I don't know what happened. Reckon the cows ate all of them? Huh? <laughs> Not. No, they just got away. No, and I had brother-in-laws lived up in there, the Anderson, Anderson family. Got there's enough of them to <laughs> see this man there all the way. <laughs> Was your sister married to Skinner Anderson? I'm married to the Anderson. Oh, yeah. Your wife was the Anderson? Yeah. And what was your wife's name? Over the Already? Already Anderson, and she passed away. Was Henry Anderson her father? Sir? Henry Anderson? That Henry Anderson was her father. How and there's some kids buried right there in the yard, and Henry Anderson um, feast on there a year or so ago. Is that the little cemetery on Shell Lake? Yeah. Right there on the peninsula? Yeah, right across there. Right across the lake. Yes. I took out some of them, but they didn't take out all of them. Oh, I got to get married over there. Yes, they're taking good care of the cemetery. Yeah. And they dug out some, dug out some of them. And then they quit. Page. Page. <coughs> See, when Page went out, there's a different man went in managing things here. Yes. <laughs> now, Henry was a town, wasn't it? Well, they put Henry Anderson in there, in there to take care of the Indians. Before they know. They have a post office and store? Yeah, they had the post office and wagon come through from Keystone. Keystone was a bootlegged place. <laughs> they ship it in there for the crates, hundreds. My brother was driving a wagon. <laughs> Give him so much to drive, you see. Yeah, and they caught him in Sand Springs and put him in the in, in the hotel there, right across from Page's office. Page, Page hit me with his. I had an old blind car them days. You see, you didn't have a good car then. I had an old blind car and it pushed me 84 feet, and I just want to. Huh? Oil can to oh, help an old boy out across the river to come over and he says, Could I get your son to come over there and drag him? He was using them businessmen, you know, there. Yeah. He was killing horses and cattle, things yeah, like that. I, I was looking at the cattle out there. <laughs> so. How did you cross the river at Keystone? This one, Sir? Do you remember? No. Where, yeah, uh, two two wagons get on that boat. And that is, they, they, they didn't have no line. And when they'd land, they'd land maybe downstream a little bit and in the sand and boy, that old wagon. Sure like good again now. That's what we traded there. Were there other river crossings close to you? The boat, you were the boat. Fella all the kids to school. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know whether the old man lived yet or not. He was the last time. Last time I was over there. Well, and, and they had a whole different places up there where the 
on Shell Creek where the outlaws would hide, you know, up there coming through and robbing, robbing places. They robbed the place down there, and the kids shot them, you remember, when the kids shot, shot one of the officers? Yes. Well, he was, had a place right there by me. Come down there and laid up against the building there, and I knew something was wrong somewhere. I had this build a new barn, and he, I guess he slept. He owned a place right there by me. I wonder who the outlaw was. He got shot. Was the outlaw, was that one of the Canton boys? Or do you recall the name of the outlaw? No, I forget that old boy's name. <laughs> I forget that old boy's name. I bet he knew Bonnie and Clyde. I don't know if he did. Huh? <laughs> he My God, it was, it was bad back then. It was, it was right. Hey, Roy, do you remember Bonnie and Clyde? Bunny and Clyde? Uh-huh. The well, outlaws? Bunny, uh, that's where they run that Clyde out of the country, you know, and got him. They got him. Mm -hmm. But if you stayed down there in the country, they wouldn't have got him. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. he's down there, and, well, man, and he killed some of my friends. Oh. They got him out. They killed my friend, the one that works for the railway company. Wow, well, I'll be darned. See, that old man at the railway company made him speak Spanish. They made him take a lesson. <laughs> they made me, shook me down the first time. But when they took me around and showed me, when they didn't pay the rent on their storage, you know, where they buried, they took them out and threw them in the slush. Boy, I'm telling you. After that, as they got acquainted with me, they took me down in the uh, in the jail. That's underneath the ground. The darkest son of a fucking place ever. <laughs> and my wife wouldn't go. She said, "No, I'm gonna stay with El Lordine Ranch over there. They was there to sell sell the land, you see." And then they went some Sand Spring businessmen, went from Sand Spring to both land there, that old, uh, what do you call it, tickle grass, that old grass, is cedar. And they burned it, they burned it, you see, and, and let the cows eat it. Yeah. They'd eat that. Is this back when you were deputy sheriff in Osage yeah. County? Yeah, yes, sir. It didn't make no difference, David. It's yours. It is the worst thing this it is right now. I'm telling you, I never seen anything like. These caves on Shell Creek. Well, that's are, that's the cave that has had. It didn't go to there. Bunny, Bunny, what, what do you call it? She cooked right there across the river from San Frank. We used to have to, had a had a. That is a Jim Crow law. See, when the Jim Crow law was in effect, we had the boy there that was part black. You yeah. see, and the, and, and the lady up there made us all a jacket, yellow jacket. And God, we got on the train and I said, well, where's, where's that boy at? And there's a lot of Indians as dark as he was. And I said, man, I said, we lost him. <laughs> And we got up to this town, and the was a big bunch there. Oh, God, I've got a little outfit they give me for coming. <laughs> and there's so many people there. That I'm telling you, and <laughs> so. Do you remember any of the other caves on Shell Creek or around <laughs> Shell Creek? New Bloke, you know, New Bloke. Uh, New Bloke was a businessman in Sandsbury right, and tells you. With New Block, before the park was there, was that a wagon train camp where you could park your wagons? Sure. At New Block. Is that where they used to park the wagons? Well, he had a business. I wish I'd have had them things I brought down. I've got a pocket full of working for Tulsa and Old Sage County Bowl, sure. Sure, yes. The way it was, an old boy up in the sheriff's office 
And they come out there and they stole the wagon load of bottles. They pick up bottles on the highway then. And they come out there and they stole the whole rack of bottles from there. I had a little old store on the place. A regular Indian store. <laughs> yeah. so, Did you go to school there at Tanglewood? Yeah. Did you go to school at Tanglewood? Tanglewood School? Yes. Yeah, my father, my father put that school in there. Oh, he did? Yes. Was your father George Wesley Sims? George Wesley Sims. And he started Tanglewood School? Was it a... Started Tanglewood School and the Indians got scared of it, you see. And then he got scared of it. I had my name on a tree right there in the table with you. But they had come, and that we got started, but the Indian took up. And I had to learn to speak Creek. Because that old lady, when I went down there, and she was sitting there, you know, and nobody at the graveyard, and them slabs all the trees, you see, it was over there over the coven. Yes. And she'd sit there and build up a fire and wish the way to the happy hunting ground. Oh, mm -hmm. so that was the purpose of the fire? It was ceremonial burial? Yeah, that was burial. Is, yeah. And she, her, her husband, her son spoke and he, he got killed, her husband got killed. And so she got sitting there, <coughs> sitting there I went down there and I was looking for my cow. And she said, Walker, Walker was she. <coughs> and I knew what she meant. She knew that the cow was there. And then she got acquainted with me and wanted me to come every time. <laughs> and did you? Yeah. <laughs> I'd go down there. And she'd, her son had talk English, but he was a mean in it. <laughs> Were there other, the, these people that came on the Trail of Tears, did they settle in the Wakawa area from the Trail Sir? of Tears? These Creek Indians that settled. Oh, the, they settled in some barrier there yet, I guess. But did they come to Wakawa on and from the Trail of Tears? And then we stopped there one night. He Can wanted to get him out of bed, and they wouldn't get him out. He wouldn't get him out. <laughs> <laughs> did did yeah, these they, Indians stop in Wakawa? Wakawa. Coming from the Trail of Tears? Huh? Yeah. They did? They stopped in Wakawa? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had, they had places there. They didn't have a white man in that cemetery. <laughs> <laughs>